Now let's talk about some business logical issues, mainly the business logical issues found in shopping websites where you can use improper functionality vulnerability and change the purchase item pricing to whatever you want. Every application has a different business process, application specific logic and can be manipulated in an infinite number of combinations. So according to OWASP, business logical vulnerability is one that allows the attacker to misuse the application by circumventing the business rules. Most security problems are weaknesses in an application that result from a broken or missing security control. So let's try to jump. Now let's jump to the, some real scenarios. We have made here a small script. Cart and shopping cart example. So this is uh, this is the public uh, script which we are using right now here. Uh, you can see here the lot of the product Android uh, phone fx for fx1 television so let's try to um, buy something from here i will click go ahead and click on this add to cart and you can see here our shopping cart is updated now let's check out here now you can see here the information about our order television dxt code pd1002 and here is the pricing which is 500 us 500.85 usd so at this stage, let's try some normal process. Let's go ahead and click on the pay now button. As you can see here, it redirects to the paypal.com, uh, sandbox.paypal.com. Let's try to buy it. I will go ahead and type my password here. Enter and it is now authenticating. Now you can see here the PayPal balance 500.85 USD click on the continue and you can see here the successful message payment received and your product will be sent to you soon you can find here the email id after that uh, you can find here amount 500.85 usd so now let's try to apply some business logical vulnerability here i'll go ahead and uh, reload this page close button so our cart is empty right now so let's try to again buy this television dxt here i will go ahead and click on to add to cart you can see here again the, our shopping cart is updated now let's go ahead and check out now let's try to find here some bug let's try to change this uh, pricing to let's say 5.85 dollar so i will go ahead and click on the inspect element here here and the form action UI and you can see here the hidden value which is the 500.85 USD so I will simply go ahead and change it to 5.85 USD and check if whether it is accepting our uh, this new value or not and I will go ahead and close this and click on the pay now button so I can you can see here our pricing has been updated the $500 I have changed to the $5.85 now let's check if uh, it's still accepting our payment or not let's go ahead and type here password now it is authenticating your information and you can see here the $5.85 USD let's go ahead and click on the continue button here loading and you can see here that our transaction has been successfully completed and at the end you can see here the amount which is 5.85 usd so this is how the really actually business logical issues work again i would like to repeat that every application has a different business process so there is uh, always something different in business logical issues